Louisiana is experiencing an unseasonably hot summer. Normally this time of year, temperatures hover in the low 90s. Weather experts say Louisiana has had an excessive number of days with scorching temperatures soaring into the upper 90s, coupled with above normal humidity levels. When the mercury rises, ER and hospital visits increased for heat related illnesses. Here's what you need to know to keep cool and stay safe. So far, the summer has seen some fierce weather, record heat and humidity, and strong thunderstorms, some behaving like microbursts, others with hail. It's been pretty obscene, obviously. We're in an El Nino, for starters. They just officially declared it a couple of weeks ago, uh, NOAA. But what happens during El Ninos is it kind of energizes what we call the subtropical jet stream. And the subtropical jet has been very active uh, over, in particular, over North Louisiana. And, but, but, but South Louisiana has been affected too. Now on sunny days when the temperatures soar, people are getting sick from the heat. The Louisiana Health Department is tracking the stats and has a decade of health data on emergency room and hospital visits for heat-related illnesses. So looking at all Louisiana hospital records from 2010 to 2020, for any heat-related illness diagnoses, as well as any that are related to workers' comp or occurring on the job. And then we calculated rates by year, age, sex, race, and by parish. The data helps the health department better monitor and assess the needs of Louisiana residents, and it's available to climate experts. And so we want to use this data to inform climate-resilient policies and practices, and then also to identify or highlight in vulnerable populations. We're trying to collaborate and work together and try to best understand what's happening with emergency room visits, for example, and temperatures and, and humidity on top of it. The report says on average annually, 3,000 people in Louisiana are hospitalized or treated in an emergency room for heat-related illnesses. It pinpoints North Louisiana with the highest rate of workers with heat-related illnesses. What are those trigger points that suddenly starts leading to people needing to go to the hospital? Heat-related illness happens when the body can't cool itself. High temperatures and humidity can hinder the body's ability to sweat, the main cooling mechanism that reduces core body temperature. So once our internal heat production exceeds heat loss or our ability to, to get rid of that heat that we're generating, we'll eventually reach a point where we can no longer uh, maintain that thermoregulation. And then that's when the core temperature rises and heat stroke occurs. Symptoms of heat-related illness can start with muscle cramps and progress to weakness, dizziness, nausea, and vomiting. So at that point, symptoms can include like major neurological dysfunction, so like seizures and coma, um, as well as failure of other major organ systems. To prevent heat stroke, experts say pay attention to the heat index. But one thing to remember about that is that it's taken in a shady area. So if you're in direct sunlight, you you have to actually um, think in terms of it's going to feel even higher than the heat index. And what we're finding is that the temperatures in the morning seem to be increasing even more than the afternoon temperatures. So there's kind of this asymmetry in how temperature is responding to you know, all the pollution and, and greenhouse gases and things that we're putting into the atmosphere. If the heat index is high, stay cool, stay hydrated, and avoid rigorous physical activity. Those are the basic precautions. But above all, listen to your body.